Row, okay. Hello, people. So, um, I found this old broken S2, and it's crap. Crap. Okay, whatever. It's through T-Mobile. I found it at the park. I was there, and it, you can see it has a crap screen, and it's an S2 because it has the buttons down here. It, 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 it well, you can kind of see them. It legitly has no buttons. Sorry, the flash just makes it so you can see it better. Well, halfway. And it's old, and, um, there's the little, maybe, it's not going to focus, is it? You can kind of see the model number, which, the model number is SGH-T989, so if you want to Google that or some, or pull it up, it will tell you it's in uh, Galaxy S2. Right now I'm filming off an S3, yes, I know it's outdated, and I want to get an S5. And this has an 8.0 megapixel camera. When I found it, it had no um, SIM card or micro SD or battery for that matter, which is the whole point I'm taking it apart. So I assume it was stolen. And as you see, I just lost the screw because I was, um, well, I wasn't screwing it. And, well, great. Now, now I basically just lost an irreplaceable screw. I mean, I could probably get a Lowe's or something and buy it. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know where that screw went. So, screw it. <laughs> no. But anyways, I have this mini screwdriver that we luckily have, so I'm just gonna uh, continue unscrewing it. And the person who's doing this ah, is me. Sup? Hey guys, sorry for some reason that last video stopped recording and decided to upset my my camera entirely. So I'm back, and now this will be two videos. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna edit them together really quickly. But yeah, it, it's me, and so I don't, you, they, they probably have other videos like this, but I just found this and thought it was cool. I wanted to get a battery for it, but um, unfortunately, well actually there's nothing really unfortunate about it, I'm just too lazy to go on Amazon or something. I, I did find ways that, come on man, I did find ways that you can um, power it without a battery. And you're supposed to be able to do this and turn it on without a battery, like, you you know, just with the little plug-in cable, the wall plug-in cable and whatnot. And I tried that, and there were actually videos on it, and I tried it, and, yeah, it didn't want to work with this phone. Okay. So, for reference for me, I'm putting the little screws right, right there, so if I forget, I can, um... You know, just, I can rewatch the video, one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six v mm, screws on here that I need to take out. Come on, man. And I think this is a water damage strip right under where the battery would originally be, right there, that little red part. Actually, can you guys see that? Yeah, that little red part right there. I don't I don't know if that is. If it is, I don't remember what color it changes for water damage. I honestly don't know why this is there. We just went to a park and well this was there sitting there and like nobody was watching it, so I'm like, okay, well whoever originally had this phone obviously is not there anymore and I doubt they need it back. And no I did not steal it. I don't I don't steal stuff and I cannot see with that bright light on my god. Come on, screw. Come on. Open. Normally I'd have music playing. You know what? Ah, crap. Once again, I'm back. Wow. Yeah. So... Apparently I can't play music either, because it interrupt. I'd have to go and get my freaking um, um, computer, which is upstairs, and I'm in the middle of filming, and maybe I should have just done it when it died or something, you know? It didn't die, sorry, my phone didn't die, it just, God dang it, I accidentally hit the power button on the side, you know, and well that undoes it, and it... Lots my phone and I can't film when my phone is locked for some reason. I don't know why. Ha! Huh. 
and got that the screw out. These screws are in pretty tight, tighter than I expected. Come on. There we go. Okay. Um three more screws to go and right there is apparently where the sound comes out. Which is weird. So that's kind of annoying. Do you have the sound come out there? I don't know if you guys know, but I think it was the HT dang it. It was the HTC one that has um the front facing speaker. What I don't understand is why they can't just use, you know, the, the speaker where you talk on the phone, right right there, where you're talking to the phone and where the voice comes out, you, you know, when you're on the phone, while well, you have right there, and I'm not sure where the bottom one is on this, but yeah, I mean, why can't they just use that to play music and stuff when you're talking, I mean, when you're not talking, you know. It would work, I don't see why it wouldn't. And it, I don't know how hard it is to route that through or anything, but yeah, it should work, shouldn't it? <sighs> okay, once I successfully pull out this screw, we will be on our last screw. Ah! Okay, guys, last screw. Once I get this one out, and I bet it's going to be the hardest like loading something and it's at 99% you know the last 100% takes a bit takes longer than it than it usually should <sighs> need to breathe okay come on there we go and FYI if you guys have Netflix and you like anime like I do they have one on there it has a weird style and it's only airing on Netflix English dubbed at the moment. I think you could find it online, but I, I don't know if they alter those all the time. But it's called Knights of Sidonia. Sidonia spelled S I D O N I A. And it's pretty good. And they are renewed for a second season, the show is, so you can tell there's going to be a second season the way the first season's in. But, anyways, guys, I got all the. I got all the screws out. Now let's see how the heck I open this. Did I miss any screws? No, I think I've got to pry it somewhat. So, uh, we're going to put this here. And let's see, where are you filming? Okay. Okay. Let's see. That. Okay, you guys should be able to see what I'm doing for the most part here. Okay. Fine then. I am lazy. Ew. Oh my god. There we go. I, I would normally sell a phone like this, but it probably has like no resale value considering it doesn't even have a battery. Aha. Okay, so. Here's the non impressive piece. There's all that, you know. And then here, everything is apparently. There's nothing on there. Everything's in the phone. In the actual phone part. Oh. Hold on, autofocus just turned off. Here's all the pieces. You can see the camera right there in the center. Lots of wires. That's where the SIM card would go. That's where the micro SD card would go. This wire here leads up to other things that I don't know. There's something right here that looks like I could pull it if I want to and it says M. Oh, wait, no. Is that supposed to be disconnected? Because it looks, it's disconnected, and I don't think... Is this... Ah, uh, it's not going to focus all the way. Anyways, you can kind of hazily see what that is right there. There, now you can see it better. And I don't think that's supposed to be disconnected, but I honestly do not know. Hmm. I wonder how much of this I can pull out without ruining the phone. Oh, wait, that's disconnected, too. Maybe those are supposed to be disconnected. Huh. I do not know. This is actually the first time I've ever taken apart a phone, and this is entirely amateur. Am... Uh, yeah. Amateur. Am I saying that right? Ugh. Ooh. Let's see here. 
That was my leg. Sorry. Oop. Oop. Come on. Ah, there we go. Got that out. Ah. Here's that side that you saw, and here's the underside of it with a lot more, um, little circuits and... Can't think of the word for those things right now. Dang it. There's a Samsung one. There's mainly Qualcomm. Qualcomm, Q U A L C O. Well, the last three M's, which I believe are M, are all connected. So yeah. And then there's just a bunch of stuff, bunch more. Hmm. Interesting. And then now to show you the underside, the rest of this phone. As you can see, there's a bit more circuits. And a shiny black piece right there, which is off to the left. Right there, that's the shiny black piece, so you can see my finger shining. And then, yeah, that's basically me taking apart this phone. I could probably put this back together and it would hopefully still look like another disconnected looking piece. I wonder if those are, I wonder where those are meant to be disconnected. This part apparently contains the camera. What's that part for? Because right there the camera would lay on that. Huh. Interesting. So that's how the camera works? Oh. The camera might even be broken. I'm not sure. The camera doesn't, did not work like I thought it would. Huh. Interesting. And then look, there, there's another one of those disconnected pieces. So I'm kind of curious if you're meant to be able to improve this phone for something. The main reason I wanted to um, also get this phone, there is another reason, dang it, um, is because, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back in. I, I, I've always wanted to, uh, you know, root a phone and play around with rooting it and see what all, how that does and, you know, all those little hats they have online where you can supposedly improve your battery life and all that stuff, you know. I've always wanted to know if, how, if that works as well as it does, and well, I can pull up the normal specs online from for this phone and stuff like that. And oh, and so well then, if it does, well then that's cool. Uh, but I don't want to root my actual phone, the one I'm filming off of right now, because well, I don't want to ruin it. And that's not good. I, I mean, I... Oh. I obviously have the warranty on it still. I have a... I have the manufacturer's warranty, which I think has actually expired by now, because I think it's only like a 14-day. And then I have the other warranty, the one uh, one or two-year warranty, I forget. Okay, now, you see these pieces that I was talking about but that you can lay down, like this one? And this one, and this one, well, they, most of them seem to click in. This one right here, this small tiny one, clicks in quite easily. So that's a good sign. So I think I'm actually going to click those in into where I assume they go. You know, and I'm like, why not? I might as well, well I have this phone, it's probably already broken. And I'm also kind of curious if I can pull up um, any information on it. I'm not going to be one of like those guys that, you know. But I am curious because I always like technology and stuff. I can't get that one to go in. Dang it. Okay, we'll put that one in. And this one that's marked M right here. I'm kind of curious what happens. If anybody does know what happens when you put those in, let me know. Hold on, I'm trying to get... Ah, there we go. Okay, so I got that, mm, can't see anything, that one right there in, that one there, that one there which is the smallest, and then this one that I saw with the M apparently going. And right here, I don't know if you could catch it, but it's a bit bent, I kind of unbent it enough, but yeah. So, I don't know what all those do, but um, when I get a battery... I'll try and let you guys know, and I just realized right there, right in that corner, 
There's a screw right in the middle of my screen. There is a screw there. What happens if I um, unscrew that? Come on. Because that's not a, that's very close to the same, dang it, same spot I unscrewed that original screw from, what, the one I lost. But it's not, it's up just a little bit. I just realized that's there, so, excuse me, let's see what it does. Hmm. Kind of curious if I can get the screen off. Oh! It takes out that little plastic piece right there, which is, um, well, it's covering up that brown piece. Ah! Hey, phone, no. That's basically all it does. It's this little piece right here and it uncovers that but if that's the case there might be more in here I don't know and I'll try to take out these circuits again that I can let's pop this back out ow that hurts there, putting that back up there let's see that oh that has the model number on it too and then also, oh, and look, right under there, as you can see, there's little circuits like it pops into something. Hmm, interesting. It looks like there's more right there. Um, to describe that to you, it's kind of, it looks like a film almost, but not like black film like you'd think. It's film, it, it's mainly a dark beige color. Google Bays, if you don't know what it is, it's not bad if you don't know what it is, don't worry. And then it's got like little red stripes that are outlined in thin black. So yeah, um, that's as well as I can describe it. Um, hmm. I don't know if I can pull that out without breaking the phone. That might have something to do with the screen to simulate, um... Touch screen, actually. Hmm. Also, the FCC ID is A3LSGHT989. It has a 1500MA. It's rated 3.7 volts. There's obviously information numbers. And if you want, the IMEI is 3598580. Four four eight four zero slash one. The SN is R three one D two one three Z E four K, and it was made in Korea. If you want that information, there's more. If you want any more, um, contact me on YouTube, obviously, through YouTube little messaging thing, and I'll let you know more. If you want to know more, you know, I'll see what I can pull up. And if you ask me for the information spat, I'm just going to send you a link. Because that is where that goes. Okay. Now, this little piece can end up right there. So I'm going to click that in. Instead. <sighs> this one's hard to get in. hope I'm not bending any of the little circuits. I... I think I'll name this video, um, S2 opening, um, teardown, S2 teardown, yeah, I'll name it that, now I'm gonna take this little plastic piece that I found originally in, well I might, I don't know how the hell this well, is gonna work, oh wait, I don't think I can because I put that there, mm. You know what? Screw it. It's not going back in. Now I've got to um, put this back on. Dang it. Let's see here. Oh, you are down here. Hmm? Yeah. Oh, I was just curious. 
Do you remember where the HDMI cable was? The one that we found in the truck? Um. Did we put it in a bin? I don't know. Did we ever take it out of the truck? Thought we did. I don't know what we did with it. Okay. Because that HDMI cable upstairs is messed up. And running on AV cables, there's a huge difference in quality on that picture on that TV. Because I only have three cables. I don't have the HDMI uh. quality. Yeah. It's working, so I'm glad it's just the cable itself, nothing else. Awesome. Yeah, that was my dad. He, um, well, I think you heard the conversation. If not, he was looking for our HDMI cable. Oh, my friend must have me back. I'll have to check that in a moment. I think she might want to. Ah, no. No, no, no. No. Crap. Wait. Crap. Ah, crap. Lost another screw. <sighs> the freaking... Lean magnetic screwdriver. Now, note to self. Lean magnetic screwdriver or need to buy more screws. Actually, no. As long as I have this mounted well enough, I won't. And, I'll, and I think I can use that screw I got from that... Ah, uh, this is really hard. From that little um, black piece I pulled out earlier in the video. I should be able to use it. Should be. I'm not going to tighten these screws super tight just in case I want to open it again. Okay. Uh, so, if anybody has a cheap working S2 battery, or free is even better, if you can find me one, you know, l let me know. Or if you just want to give me your S2 battery that you for some reason have. Well, heck, I'll take it off your hands. What the hell is that? You know? And so, yeah. Um, message me on YouTube if you have one of those, obviously. And you want to give it away to me for some reason. Let's see. Where should I put this one? I'm going to put it there. Ah! Okay, I'm not going to put it there. Okay, guys, I have officially lost... Oh! Oh, nope, nope, okay. No, I have only officially lost two screws. I get, the, I get the point of using small screws so you don't have to take up a lot of room, but seriously, I, I don't even think a magnetic screwdriver would hold these. There we go. Hmm. If anybody knows a cheap, if they d if they can't find the screw, you know, if anybody knows a cheap, inexpensive way to easily turn this on, because the wall charger um, way doesn't work, which I was hoping would work, yeah, it doesn't. So that sucks. And normally I would turn this around, but I can't while I'm in the middle of filming. But anyways, there's all the phone. There's the phone back together. I have a screw everywhere, but right there, as you can see. Once it there, you go. Yeah. And because that's the one screw I originally lost, and then, well, I stole a screw from this back piece. I was originally gunning to have all the screws, but I didn't because I lost another one. So, yeah, that'd be interesting if anybody finds those. But anyways, this is the end of this video. I'm going to post this on YouTube, and I'll probably upload it to Facebook in the same way. So, anyways, guys, now I'm logging off. Bye.